Floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, wildfires. Everything can change in an instant when emergencies strike. I'm Ness Murby. I'm a Paralympian, I'm blind, I'm a disaster survivor, and I'm your host for this video series that is your guide to prepare and plan for natural emergencies in Canada. This is your AMI Emergency Series. Preparation. Preparing for emergencies is critical, but planning for them might feel daunting. So just keep in mind, you don't need to do it all at once. Just do it one bit at a time. Remember your neighbors and those in your community are likely to be the first people on the scene in an emergency, perhaps even before emergency first responders. Most assistance comes from your trusted team, people like your neighbors and friends. So a critical first step in preparing is to have positive interactions with your neighbors. A close sense of community can help you feel safe and empowered in an emergency. I know it can be hard to put yourself out there, but if you don't know your neighbors well, planning a get together or simple meet and greet can be a great way to get to know each other better. Look for common interests, anything from books or music to swimming or crafts like knitting. You could even consider forming a group or a club. The sense of community, the natural bond between neighbors, encourages everyone to watch out for one another. You could also consider taking it to the next step and running an event to share emergency preparedness ideas, skills, and resources. Your local emergency management program may even have trainers available to participate. Now that we've talked community, it's time to talk kits. Your emergency kits are a key part to being ready. You'll need your grab and go kit for evacuation and your home kit if you need to stay at home for an extended time. Remember that you're not always going to be at home. So what are your other obvious places for emergency preparedness? Let's talk work. Set up a support network of co-workers who will be there to assist you in an emergency. If your workplace has a health and safety team, consider joining or giving them feedback so that they are aware and consider your individual needs. Be sure to familiarize yourself with the location of all fire alarms and extinguishers so you can access them easily in an emergency. Do you know how to operate the fire extinguisher? Do you know how to use the two-way emergency intercom in elevators or other areas of your building? These are just a few of the things you need to think about ahead of an emergency situation. Practice your plans regularly so that you can execute them flawlessly. Talk to your trusted team, including your neighbors, and discuss what you'd need, what's working, and what's not. For more on communicating your needs if you're blind or partially sighted, be sure to check out our video series, including the episode on personal needs. The complete AMI emergency series is available to watch at ami.ca, on the AMI-TV app, and on the AMI YouTube channel.